everyone and welcome back to another story time video. Today is going to be part two of a story time video I started talking about two weeks ago. Of course, two weeks ago. That's that's how frequently I upload these story time videos. Now, this is about uh, the time I spent working in a factory. Um, just as a quick little recap, this is a small local factory. Well, not small, but it's it's a local factory. Where if I said the name of the factory, you guys would know right away. And that they made car parts. And I worked in on paint line molding and assembly all the production on all the production floor at some point while I was there as an operator. In last video I talked about my time in paint line and in molding. So that's just a quick little recap of what I talked about in part one and now here we go with part two. Now, I I went over to molding because I wanted to be on first shift. I wanted that. I I wanted to get up, go to work, and leave work in the afternoon and have the rest of the afternoon and the evening to myself. So that's why I moved to molding. And I kind of liked it better over there. I mean, it was a bit cooler during the summer than in than on the paint line. And Of course, I didn't walk around as much, uh, given that I just stood at one press, putting in a wire on the back of a wheel cover. Again, like I said in part one, they hate it when you say the H word, and that H word being hubcap. They hate that. That's another thing from part one I somewhat stressed, but... It's not that big of a deal. It kind of is, but semi, semi. But, uh, where we made all the Toyota, the Nissan, and all that, and there was a time where I was on what we call the Ford cell, in molding with someone else, with actually one of my classmates from high school, as a matter of fact. And we, uh, of course, we made Ford button caps, as the Ford cell would imply, we made Ford parts. But we would load up they would we would mold the back part the part that you don't see the part that goes into the car of course at the factory like i said we uh we molded everything there at the factory like i said last video and these were no exception. Uh, and that they would mold the back of these, the part that you don't see in the car, like I said. I'm sorry, I got distracted. And we would load them up into a machine, eight, and then these suction cups would come down and 
pick them up. Eight individual ones would pick up eight parts. As you can imagine. And then come up, set them down onto the little thing that spun around. And the first stage, they would get glue put on them. And four would be at one stage at a time. So, uh, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, then yes. Yeah, so four would be at one stage at the same time. And four would get glue at the same time. And then those four would get an emblem and the four that were on your that were on the left that you loaded in would get uh would get emblems while the ones on the right would <coughs> no the ones on the left would get glue while the ones on the right would get uh glue or emblems so it went Glue first, and then emblems. So the ones on the right got emblems first, before the ones on the left. And so... And then... Another set of... Uh, suction cups... Would come and pick up each... And would... Eight cups would pick up the eight parts at the same time, once they got emblems on them. And... They would... Uh, drop them down on the conveyor belt. And then they would come down and we would pack them into the tubs. That was the most unique job in molding. And, by the way, to get the emblems on there, after we loaded the machine with emblems, then uh, four individual suction cups would come and put four suction cups on or four suction cups would come and pick up four emblems and put one emblem on each part at the same time. So, um, I don't know why this is hard for me to explain, but and then for most of the jobs in molding you would uh just stand there with your wires and you would put a wire into a part now the way that you would put wires in there differently it yeah you would put wires in there differently depending on uh the job uh not the company you you could I'm going to use an example here. Ford. So, if if you see the uh, white delivery vans, they have the silver wheel cover. Uh, that kind of looks like a, a, a sombrero. If you really look at it, it Kind of looks like a sombrero. I know somebody might think I'm crazy, but it it looks like a sombrero. If if you took it and you put it down on the ground, face up. But for example, that job, because of the way that the wire goes in there, it requires a hammer to put it in there. So there's two little things next to each other that go down. I think there's four or five sets of those throughout the uh, part. I think five, though. And you hammer them so that the wire will stay in place on those uh, clips. So, and on a different uh, Ford part. Let's take the other type of uh, delivery van from what I've seen. 
that newer one, that uses a black wire, and you can just clip that in with the, uh, well, with your hands. So sometimes the wire might be tougher to get in on some parts. And, by the way, on Teslas, yeah, we ran a lot of Teslas. On Teslas and molding, uh, I think on the newer Teslas, there are 14 clips that go in uh, two sets of, yeah, seven sets of two. So, as opposed to one huge wire. And those clips are hard to get out, by the way. Whenever we get bad parts on paint line, we have to break down the parts. And it's it's a pain to break down that newer Tesla. Because the clip is kind of curved like a J, sort of, where it has... A flat side and then it curves down and around like a J except the tail of the J would have a you would continue going in like a straight line like a dash I don't know it's just it's it's hard to explain without uh without showing because I don't have any Tesla clips because there there there's several reasons why I don't have any. For one, I think stealing is wrong. And that would be stealing. And even if I wanted to ask, I wouldn't want to because I don't want to take work home with me. I don't want to do that. So, I I never liked work enough to take it home with me. So, I I can't I can't show you guys what the clips look like to better do it. But there's a little button in the clip that typically you can push down uh, one side. On the older Tesla versions, there was no button there that it popped into to make it more secure. So that if you really wanted to, you could push down with your thumbs and get the clip out. But on the newer versions of Tesla, there is a button there, so it makes it virtually impossible without... Uh, needle nose pliers so but trust me the the wheel cover will not easily pop off despite the fact that I say that you can take the clips out easier on one Tesla as opposed to another uh, Tesla uh I guess they wanted to make it more secure, but I don't know. It just makes it more of a pain to assemble it and disassemble it if we need to. But yeah, it's interesting though because when I first started to work at this place, Nissan was the prime customer. Nissan was the top customer that we had. And then by the end of my time there, it was definitely Tesla. Back when I was there originally, 
Well, Nissan wasn't a huge customer back when I was in molding. It was mainly when I was in paint and assembly. But we would run uh, several different types of Nissan parts a day on paint line. And then when I was on in molding, we would run... Uh, Maybe one, maybe two of the uh, older Teslas. They they started to f really phase out the older Teslas just as I was leaving. And I remember they said that they were going to put in a second press that could run the newer Teslas. So that they could get twice as many Tesla parts out. Because typically, you have all these uh, presses that run uh, injection molding. And you might have, you will typically have uh, one mold for, uh, let's say, Ultima wheel covers. I think the number was 3389. So you would have one press or one mold where you could put in any of the pre most of the presses, not any of them, but most of the presses where you could run 3389s. Now, the older version of the Tesla's had two presses, 3240s and 3340s. And so you could put both molds into a press at the same time and produce two Tesla parts at one time or at the same time as opposed to just one. So this video has been all over the place but I already know what I'm gonna talk about for next story time video. And the one after that, so I've kind of thought about that a little bit, as opposed to this one. And, uh, that's why this has kind of been a little bit all over the place. But, uh, yeah, as a little side note, this background gameplay that you're watching... Bioshock Infinite. This morning, I actually beat Bioshock Infinite for the first time. And... I really wanted to beat this game before I started to play it on YouTube. Which is probably in, like, a little over three weeks. No, it's like four weeks. Three or four weeks. But... This game was incredible, and uh, I really enjoyed myself. But yes, yeah, so before I end this video off, I just want to say that I left the factory uh, on my own terms to go back to school. I gave this place a one month notice as I was on a wait list to go to school and I knew that I was going to go to school like five or six weeks before class started so I told them a month ahead of time and what's kind of amazing to me is that they had me write a resignation letter or note. Ah, call it more of a letter. But that's why I left the place. That's why I left this place. And this place wasn't a terrible place to work for. But I am happier in school because I can have a career as opposed to just a job. So 
I'm thrilled about that. And see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for this story time video. And Slank story time video. I will see you later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching. Eh.